It's Nick's Psychotronic History of Sci-Fi. There were several science fiction TV shows in the 60s, like The Outer Limits, The Twilight Zone, and Lost in Space, but none captured the public's imagination quite like Star Trek, featuring the adventures of Captain Kirk and his crew on board the starship Enterprise to boldly go where no man had gone before. Star Trek was essentially a space western about a pioneering group that explored distant lands and met many alien people who apparently wore a lot of body paint or had cheap rubber for skin. Yeah, the show was corny. I've even heard my dad and company say it looked fake back in the 60s. But still, you've got to appreciate the creativity that went into making it, like how they painted salt shakers for the tricorders or just stitched together chessboards for the 3D chess in the future. Its two most famous stars, get it, were William Shatner as the courageous Captain Jim Kirk, was better than Picard. Oh yeah, I just went there. And Spock, who lets people call him Leonard Nimoy for some reason. The highly logical alien science officer who was really the breakout character of the show. His three-pronged salute, pointy ears, bent eyebrows, and scientific manner of speaking. Most illogical reaction. Have become iconic trademarks, not just of the character, but of the whole franchise as well. Every episode was an exploration of classic ideas and a new ones, some even loose adaptations of old short stories from pulp magazines. They explored many subjects, from race and religion, to commentaries on contemporary politics, to what might lie beyond our own understanding of the universe. Always with some kind of moral in view. These words, and the words that follow, were not written only for the Yangs, but for the Kongs as well. The Kong. The original series would only last for three seasons, the grand total of 79 episodes. They would spawn a cartoon show, five sequel shows that followed other characters in the Star Trek universe, and a series of 11 movies, with the 12th due to come out this year. Not to mention a plethora of tie-in novels, comic books, video games, and everything else you can imagine. There have even been several languages constructed out of it, the most known of which is Klingon, which even the works of Shakespeare have been translated into, and even people have been married. These fans are widespread and devoted, often getting into huge debates over little things in the backgrounds of the episodes, proving that Star Trek is one of the most watched phenomenons in the history of entertainment. I'm confident that in the generations to come, Star Trek will live long and prosper.